first time I heard a big band I was a, you know, when I was a kid. I think I was 10 or 11 years old, and I heard a big band in person, and that I, I wanted to do that. And I wonder why we hold on with tears in our eyes. And I wonder why we have to break down to make things alright. And I wonder why I can't seem to tell you goodbye. Yes, I wonder why. It's been a, a really wonderful tour with SVR, uh, Big Band. Uh, it's a great, great band, first of all, you know, so it's, uh, it's easy to work with them. They're, they're, they're professional and they swing and uh, they're all, you know, wonderful musicians, each in, in his own right. Um, and the music is so much fun to, to perform. It's uh, this mostly Sinatra material, stuff that Sinatra made uh, iconic in support of my, my album, which is all Sinatra stuff, and uh, so it's just, uh, what it is, is it's easy. It's, it's embarrassingly easy uh, to, to, to do this. It's just, it's, it's so much fun that really, it, I shouldn't be getting paid for it, but, but don't tell. Let's do this thing. Fly me to the moon And let me swing among the stars let me know what love is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, I love Sinatra. Um, I, I think he's uh, I think he's the greatest pop singer that that uh, ever lived or that ever recorded records um, that I uh, certainly that I ever heard. <laughs> there might have been somebody before recordings, but uh, I just I love the way Sinatra sang. I love his phrasing. I love his his swing. Um, I love his musicianship, um, but most of all, I love his, his storytelling. And that's uh, that's something that I've really, um, especially as I get older, I, I try to emulate uh, his ability to, to tell a story with a, with a great song. In other words, in other words, I change wasn't necessarily that I went from jazz, uh, from pop to jazz, it was that I started recording jazz records. I had always played jazz music, I played it as a kid, um, uh, but uh, my first record deal was with a pop record label and I was writing pop songs, so that made sense. Uh, but all the while I've been playing jazz music, I just finally decided to put the pop uh, recording career to the side and focus on making jazz records. Swinging down at 10th and May, oh yeah. Swinging down at 10th and May, oh baby. Swinging down at 10th and May. I change every day, every hour. I mean, you know, when I'm home, I have, you know, a couple of uh, acoustic guitars that hang on the wall. And when I pull a guitar down, you know, I'll sing, um, I'll sing an, a Willie Nelson song, or I'll sing a, a, a you know, a, an Otis Redding song, or I'll, uh, I'll try to sing, uh, you know, a Johnny Mercer uh, uh, song. You know, I mean, I, I'm not really. Um, I just I don't I don't like staying with one thing. I'm always looking for something new to do, and I I get bored sort of repeating myself. I mean, if you look at my records, I I haven't repeated myself once. Each each record is different, and that's what you know really sort of killed my pop career. <laughs> um, and I killed it on purpose, really, uh, just by moving forward, by by continuing to grow and learn. It's it's difficult for for for. Journalists, it's difficult for record companies and for publicists to sort of understand it, but I just, I don't like to do just one thing. <laughs> I probably will draw the line at opera. Um, I love, uh, I love uh, opera. I love uh, hearing an amazing uh, tenor, but uh, I don't, I don't have, I don't have the voice for that. So yeah, I think I'll draw the line at opera. <laughs> I mean, when, when the 
drums are slamming and the trombones and the trumpets and the, I mean there are moments uh, like in the uh, in in the instrumental section of Don't Worry About Me, which is the, one of the one of the Sinatra tunes that we do, when the trumpets take off and, and hit loud and the drummer is, bah, bah, it's uh, it's really extraordinary. singing Don't Worry About Me. Uh, it's just such a great, great song and uh, it's different from the rest because it's, it's a ballad. It's one of the few real ballads. Um, coming out at the beginning of the night and singing Come Fly With Me is always a riot. It just, I've loved that song since, uh, since I was young and uh, it, there's something about the way it swings, just stepping on stage and, and kicking into that. It's, it's really a treat. Um, I do love the title track from the record. My album is called uh, um, is called One More for the Road, and it, it, that comes from the title of um, Make It or One for My Baby and One More for the Road. I've got a little story I think you should know. Now we're drinking, my friend, to the end of a brief episode So we get one for my baby And one more for the road uh, And uh, it's, so, it's such a joy to sing that song. It's such a great story and uh, we do it just as a duo, just the, the pianist uh, and, and myself. And, and then you know, later on a saxophone comes in sometimes when we do it. Uh, and there's just something about the, 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 the quiet moment, the, the, the sadness of that song is so palpable. I, I really I dig singing that song. So we get one for my baby. One more for the road. Those arrangements are so brilliant. I mean, Nelson Riddle. There's there's nobody like him. There's just it's in my opinion, it's like modern classical music. It's 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 some of the greatest music of the 20th century. And so, much like uh, you know, a, a Joshua Bell will play a, a violin concerto uh, by Mozart. That's, that's sort of how I feel about this. I, I go in and sing this classic material, um, you know, in a, in a way very um, loyally to, uh, um, to, to the way it was uh, done before, but adding my own twist. Swinging down at the there, man. any planned gigs that the SVR band and me but uh, we're gonna do more work we're definitely gonna continue to play this is a this is a, has become a really nice partnership and uh, I'd like to make this a regular stop on in my calendar every year because uh, these guys are fantastic so we'll, we'll see maybe maybe there's a record maybe there's a recording in the future too yeah, the best is yet to come